All right. What's going on, guys? This is Chili Games. Um, we we did it. <laughs> we have hit one thousand subscribers, and this this is a day that realistically you know is going to happen if you put the work in, but it's a day that just like is it going to come and when it does it's like oh it's 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 here and so i i don't really know if it's hit me yet um and i'm gonna try and keep all of this somewhat short and sweet and not ramble because i ramble a lot in the background is a uh, mogami game that i have um for you to watch if you don't want to watch my face which i understand I rambled about this topic a lot, um, a lot usually in streams about starting my YouTube and you know especially with this game so I'm not <laughs> going to spend 10 minutes saying the same thing over 10 times. Uh, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart like this was the last chance uh, in my life really to do something like this and I really feel like that and told myself um, no matter what it takes I'm going to give myself one last shot to do it and thank you um. <laughs> oh man um It's it's crazy to me. Um, all the support, um, all the feedback, all the the negative feedback, all the positive feedback, like everything um, helps in its own way to you know bring about a you know a finished product. And not to say that we're finished, but getting to you know something of a spot to where you can look back on and say like, wow, we've improved, uh, we've grown. And uh, for me, this is huge. Uh, <laughs> I I literally have no words. Uh, I I have talked with uh, Zarkoon, uh, and we both are in a pretty similar boat because we both started our you know YouTube with this game uh, pretty similar uh, at a similar time, and obviously we play this, the same game. So we're like we're always messaging each other like hey like this like this is actually happening like I remember when we were at like 50 subscribers just talking to each other like you know like we gotta do all these things and it's like we'll get there one day and he is there and uh, he's over a thousand subs and it's just like God like this it's been a long journey but time has flown by and uh something for me that might resonate with you if you you know if you're in a in a, if you're in a weird spot for me i was not in a good spot the past two years of my life have been probably the most difficult i'm not saying that's difficult at all you know because i'm thankful enough to live in america i'm, I'm in college and all these things but for me it, it's been very difficult um and it just goes to point more to the fact that like how I was able to do this and how you guys were able to support me and keep this going like this was not an optimal time to start something like this but as you know like COVID-19 has been weird uh, it's been a really weird time and at first I hated it but I look back at it now and it let me put in a lot of time towards this making videos um, it was weird. It was a weird time for everybody, I feel like. Um, I had to quit my job earlier in the semester. Um, and, you know, it was just weird. So, and it wasn't really the best, but it was, for me, I look back at it as a blessing in disguise. So, you know, this this whole entire last probably 
nine months has been crazy and I'm finally at a place uh, about two weeks ago is when I finally was just like all right well things are kind of turning around like I think we're starting to dig our way out of not a hole but you know the work is finally paying off and I have nothing but you know appreciation for everyone that has helped me get to this spot um, it's incredible uh, T-Bull's Discord uh, I know a lot of you guys in there uh, it's you know it's uh, it's been a home uh, and, and a lot of places you know like the guys um, that I talk to regularly on discord like everybody that I talk to on discord all the groups that I'm in thank you thank you thank you this literally would not be possible um, without you guys so I said we're not going to do this for 10 minutes straight um, <laughs> thank you Maybe a foolish dream and maybe stupid to some people, but for me, it was something that I've always enjoyed as a kid. And I was like, well, I mean, everyone always says, like, it's, it's not a job if you love what you're doing. And I was like, that applies to literally everything. Everyone's different. You know, it doesn't have to be the same thing for everyone. And for me, this this is that. If I can, you know, I, I find joy in this. I find, you know, I, I love this kind of stuff. I love playing video games, all that kind of stuff. So... Thank you for supporting me in my journey. And it, we're just getting started. You know, it's I'm super thankful for a thousand, but it's just like, man, like people have like millions and it makes you feel so small. You know, it's like, but even at like a hundred subscribers, I was blown away. And I was just like, man, this is this is what it's like, man. Like, oh dude, like this has been the most rewarding experience I've ever had here. Uh, doing this the past couple months because it is straight up like you're making videos and if you don't get out into the community and talk to people or if you don't bring something special to the table that's worth watching you will not go anywhere um, I, I heard a, a good quote from Nick Marks who plays a um, very popular streamer and public figure in the gaming industry um, and this was for streaming but it applies a lot to YouTube as well. He said, you either have to be good or funny, uh, which means, you know, you have to bring some sort of humor and daily break to someone's life for them to want to watch you, or you have to be good. Some people can do both, but, you know, I would like to think I bring some sort of both. <laughs> But just having the opportunity for you guys to watch what I make, it is so surreal. It's like people actually have a bell on my notifications when my videos go live and like they watch them and they're waiting for the stuff to come out. <sighs> it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, to stop rambling uh, about that, I just... I guess I'm going to get into the game a little bit, you know, I don't want to, you know, bore you guys or anything. This was a game that I had uh, a little bit ago, probably two weeks, and I kind of wanted to save it because Mogami is where everything started. One of my first games that I uploaded, um, or when I started uploading regularly last last year, was with Mogami, and it was a ship that I, uh, I liked, and it was particularly not the top choice of picks for a lot of people and I was decent at it and I started getting really good and I was like man I could probably make content with this and I had a lot of really good games that were postable and so that's why Magami is always going to have like a spot in my heart because um and I'm going to say this uh guy on discord Mustang I appreciate you like you have no idea like how small your interaction was but how you know big of a fire that it lit inside of me uh, long story short, I played a game in Mogami uh, in the Yamato test event. So, you know, this was back before Tier 7 Cruisers had heals, whatnot. Uh, I had a really good game against, uh, like, a, like three Yamatos, and I was like, uh, I did really well, um, whatnot. It, we lost, but 
uh, got an enemy team who was Mustang, said he messaged me after the game. I was like, dude, that was a crazy game. Um, you know, GGs. And for me, I was like, okay, that that reassured me that I can play at a certain level and that other people can see it and respect it. And for me, that was like, okay, well, if one person thinks that, other people could probably see that as well. And, you know, something like that is so small, but we're here now. Like, I'm dead serious. Stuff like that, you know, gives me the... It gave me the will to keep pushing, um, to keep streaming, to keep making videos, to keep doing things if I'm not getting views, you know, to keep pushing. And I just want to say thank you. And, you know, like, don't want to get <laughs> rambling. Um, but, like, for me, the little things in life have always been the things that suck with me the most. So, Mogami, um, we're doing okay. It's been a weird match. Um, unfortunately, didn't get the kill on the lightning earlier. And if you see me play Mogami, you're going to be seeing me do this right here. What I'm doing is backing into a situation. One, because my reverse is, you know, over 20 knots, so it's not terrible. But also, when you're playing Mogami, when you're playing uh, IJN Cruisers, your strongest offensive capabilities and defense, your strongest offense is going to be at your rear. For one, you have really good you have really good turret angles at the rear, and you have all of your torpedoes. So, if let's say there was a battleship coming around this corner, I could torpedo him. If I was bow on, I could not torpedo him. So this is my strongest position and it's my safest because for one, I this is a kiting cruiser. It is very hard to hit at range. It has great acceleration. And I'm watching the, the TV as I watch this. So the camera's here. <laughs> so if I'm looking this way. Um, as you see there, we take advantage of the Wichita. We're backwards. We can get out of his, um, we dodge his cells very easily. So, that is why I'm backing into this situation. I do it a lot, actually, in this ship. It works really, really well. And, again, always changing my speed uh, to dodge shells like that. So, um, another predictable turn of events here that are about to come to, I guess, uh, a very noticeable... <laughs> Trying to trying to melt down this shard. I want to get a fire before he goes across uh, this island here. But something that is um, not apparent to our destroyer to the left there is they have a Cleveland that has not been spotted in some time. And as you see, I'm backing my my ship towards that way because I figured that he would be going around the island like he is, and he's right there. And for us or for that destroyer, he's completely in a situation where he is he's screwed. I mean, this is not a good spot. And another thing with Mogami is you have a lot of torpedoes, so when in doubt, shoot your torpedoes. I have no idea if this Cleveland is actually going to continue into that gap, but this is denying that route. If he does go in that gap, then he has to dodge a lot of torpedoes. So, you know, I would rather have them in that section doing that job there than not shooting them at all. So if you have the chance to shoot your torpedoes, shoot them. And we switch to the AP, get a nice broadside there. And again, our destroyer dies. I mean, when you get caught that close to a Cleveland, it is, aside from a teammate devastating striking, you're, you're dead. So... Torpedoes are on the way. I'm trying to see if I could blind fire him here because I know he was somewhat low health. And we end up <laughs> getting a torpedo hit and we're waiting here because we know that's where he was hit. I honestly have no idea how this guy was alive, but he will end up dying from uh, the fire or the flood, actually. So this game is about over. Uh, this video is about over. So 1,000 subscribers, guys. <sighs> again for the 400th time this video.
thank you so much and we're going to keep going it's just so surreal I cannot say enough how much I appreciate you guys so that is going to be it for the video if you do like this content uh, subscribe and like uh, if you have suggestions put it in the comments below and on that note um, wait 221k 4,000 base XP. That was the kicker. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy. I will see you next time. Peace.